Hello, kids. This is Case House Media Production. The channel is Emma Frawi. My name is Clement Chumesi. I am a final year PhD mathematics student and a vice chancellor scholar of Cardiff University in the UK. We started a campaign about how to effectively study from the basic level to higher levels, being PhD. Okay. So we said that for each point is going to be featured in a separate video. So we've already done um, three videos, three YouTube videos, meaning that we've already given out the first three points. It's left with two, okay? So technically, this particular YouTube video is going to talk about the fourth point. But I will just recap the first three points. But keep in mind that you will need to watch the first three videos to really understand in depth what we said um, um, previously. Okay, so the first point was that we said you have to, first of all, believe in yourself because it was very important. We elaborated further. And the second point was that you shouldn't feel intimidated by people in your field. And then the third point was that you should now pick up your books and be ready for war. And in the process of picking up your books and being ready for war, also make good use of the internet. Whatever you are being taught in class that you don't understand, always make sure you Google search, watch YouTube videos of topics, any topic you have been taught, just Google it for PDFs, for extra books, or first of all, just go to YouTube, type the topic and get someone else also teaching you to understand better. In this case, you can actually watch it at your own pace. So it's something you have to keep in mind. It's one of my secrets because no one is an island. The people who are assume they understand better than you are using these tricks and it's, it's something that shouldn't be hidden, okay? So make good use of that. All right, so this particular video, we are going to talk about the fourth point. So with the fourth point to effectively study at any level is first of all, to reflect on what you've learned. That is a mistake that people have been making, okay? So keep in mind that if you study without reflecting, it's a mistake. So there are students who will say, oh, today I've really studied. You ask them what you studied. Can you, can you just, can you just, can you just tell us a bit of what you studied? They can't. Okay. So meaning that whatever you studied had been nullified in that case, isn't it? So keep in mind, and that's one of my secrets. So be it mathematics, when I am learning statistics, mathematics, or even, yeah, any, any form of mathematics, after learning, I pick up a book and I try to recall all what I studied. It could be science. So science, I, I was a science student. I had to learn biology, physics, chemistry, elective mathematics, and so on. When I learn biology, when I learn chemistry, I'll pick up a book and try and fail the book. So if it is mathematics, I'll pick up a, a new book, and uh, an empty book, which I'm just failing with what I can remember. By the time you're able to do that, or sometimes you can even lie down, sometimes you can even walk, and then try and see whether you can just summarize the things you've studied. If you're able to summarize the things you've studied in your own way, at least you get a fraction of what you've studied sticking. And that's how people are able to develop their retentive memories. If you're not someone who reflects on what they've studied, you would have very low retentive memory. So keep, keep this in mind. So there's also another secret you need to know to become a very good, um, effective um, 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 student um, at any level. Okay, so, so keep in mind, it's a very good practice that you, you need to develop. Um, and like I said, it also helps you with um, building um, retentive memories as well. And never study or close your book without reflecting or summarizing it up. Okay, so that actually really helps you to build your smartness and confidence, and you'll be able to at a point rattle things without necessarily having to look inside the book. It's not. It's not the focus. Is not to just memorize. Okay, the focus is understanding. And after understanding, try and write it. It could be essay. It could be anything. Okay. Keep practicing. That's what we meant by after studying, solve as many questions. If it is mathematics, if it is science, after studying something, we can wrap it up by studying, solving questions, practice tasks, and so on and so forth. So these are some of the things you really need to do. So don't just study something, throw the books away, and think you are done. No, it's a bad practice. So to become a very a good, effective learner, the next, the fourth point, which I'm, I'm trying to re-emphasize, is that you need to, first of all, try to reflect on everything. It's just like meditation. It's just like people who pray without meditating. If you don't meditate, you technically do not um, get some, some, some form of feedbacks you really was, was looking for. Okay, So keep in mind that it's very important 
Never study without reflecting on what you've studied. Never study without solving as many questions as you can about what you studied. Never, never you, you get it. So those are those these things are very important, and you need you really need to to adopt it in your in your in your study life. Okay, so keep in mind that's actually the fourth step to becoming a good effective student. All right, and today me kind you know said um you didn't care kind mama. I'm yet near Sian. You did can you say, um, as I would do, who did their toss on here say, as um, um, in this Oma and perform more, fill the upper so common, a intimidating one as on the cow shape, and more be as some of the canoe and affect you and and redefining who you think you are. So be back as some I do a bem and and young one never bow. And ma obiasa me and do a bem. So who do who do now more obiasa me do a bem for other crabs who swing a one. Now fit we got third point, you know, which is now trying to pick up your books and be ready for war. Now and also the so the internet in the support on the kakra, or the YouTube in the Google, you know, as support on the kakra. And be boy, I'm what to me and start getting your confidence. And now me say I can on the fourth point, you know, which is what you can't who are saying video we man because and they say after the way swing a piano. Reflecting, meditating. There was something we had tried. So we kai to sign our kai. So we bet me out try your kai. And as we bet me cry, we no do an hour and then we can do your kai. And that's what I'm But it is a very good practice. We are saying we do ma. We me ya um. We me kai no ma. And no ma we be sure to me kai we trim uche. If we do that, and that's what I do. In the do of her, we bet me out. We sure that we na me daho. I could just be lying down as if I'm sleeping, but I'm actually meditating and trying to recall everything I've studied. If we have a thought book, we have a statue of Shrono Ma Misunye. We are not saying that after a day and a week, we are not saying it becomes part of you, part and parcel of you. In the month of Mamu Renfi, say it is actually the most important, one of the most important points um, that you need to know in order to become a good learner. We are saying, minimize Hamza Winti Minye, okay? And if I know two or three, Say you have to always reflect on what you've studied. Okay, so thank you very much, and then um, see you in the last uh, video, which is actually going to talk about the fifth point, which is the last but not the least. Okay, and then like I said, believe in yourself. Don't feel intimidated by people in your field. Okay, pick up your books, be ready for war, and then everything you study, try and reflect on them. Have a nice day. Enjoy. Take care. Bye.